All right, so today we have a pretty unique topic and one that I'm excited to talk about, and that is on notes. Today we're gonna to be going over three different and proven methods to recover notes on your Mac or Mac laptop. Let's get started. So while I can't speak for you guys, I can definitely speak for myself when I say that I use notes all the time. Jotting down everything from phone numbers to grocery lists, and one thing that I actually love to do is write down movies that I need to see as I hear about them online. And of course, it works great, just like it's supposed to. Until it doesn't. And it's when you realize that some of these notes are missing, that's when you might start to panic a little bit. The multitudes of reasons as to why this can happen range from an update gone wrong to where you need to restore your Mac to a previous state, or just deleting them by accident. But whatever the case may be, today I'm going to be giving you the tools and the knowledge that you need in order to recover your notes in three different ways. So let's just jump right into method number one, which is using the recently deleted folder that's built right into the notes app itself. So I've mentioned this before in previous tutorials, right? You just check the recycle bin, but it's not exactly the same. So when you delete notes, it doesn't actually go to the recycle bin on your Mac, rather it goes to a sort of recycle bin or recently deleted folder that's built right into the notes app. And this is where they're kept on your Mac until permanent deletion. And so they're going to be there just waiting for you to bring them back. And so here's what you can do to get them back from the recently deleted folder. So first of all, of course, go ahead and open up the notes app. Then once you open it, you should see a list of folders on the left hand side of the window. Now, if you don't see the recently deleted folder inside of your notes app, as soon as you open it, then all you need to do is go ahead and click this button up here, which will open up the sidebar on the left showing you all of the folders of different notes on your Mac. Then go ahead and select the recently deleted folder. Then all you need to do once you find it is right click it, select move to, then you can either move it to your iCloud notes or your Mac notes, but either way, just send it back to your notes folder and it'll be there waiting for you. All right, so that's method number one. It's pretty straightforward, very easy, and it's definitely the first thing you should always check when you delete notes. But now let's move on to method number two, which is gonna be using iCloud to get your notes back. It's a little more involved, but still very simple. So iCloud has backed me up many, many times. I've used it to recover photos and folders or even resurrect my entire Mac at one point. But needless to say, iCloud is an amazing tool that you can use to save yourself a lot of headache if you happen to delete files that have been backed up using iCloud before. And so in this case, as long as you have at one point used iCloud to sync your notes with, then this method is extremely straightforward. Now, the first thing that we need to do is actually turn off something called iCloud syncing, which is going to make it so that whatever is on our notes app on our Mac is not going to sync with iCloud. So that makes sense because if we've deleted it on our Mac, we don't want that to update in the cloud and then be deleted up there as well. So here's how to turn off iCloud syncing. Go up to system preferences, search iCloud, and then uncheck the notes box. Next, open up your internet browser and go to iCloud and then log in with your Apple ID. Next, open your notes and then locate the deleted notes that you want to restore Then click the recover button to transfer them back to your Mac. Then also when you're done with this method, make sure that you go back to your system preferences, go to iCloud and then re-enable iCloud syncing with your notes because hopefully what we're gonna be able to do is essentially prevent that from ever happening again. So just go back to system preferences, go to iCloud, re-enable your notes, and then that will get them talking to each other again so that in the event that you need to do this again, it'll work. All right, now last but not least, for method number three, we're gonna be using a piece of utility software on the Mac called Time Machine. So I've covered Time Machine, obviously, lots of times before, and it's awesome. It allows you to literally scroll back through time and view files on your Mac as they were at different points in the past. However, unlike previous tutorials, this one's going to be a little bit different. We need to look in a very specific location to find a specific file that has our entire library of notes that we're going to use to restore our notes back to our Mac. So it gets a little bit technical and there's a few more steps than normal, but as long as you stick with me, I'm going to be showing you everything that you need to do step by step. So let's go. So first of all, of course, as with all Time Machine backups, make sure that your Time Machine disk that contains your backup is connected to your Mac. Then once it's connected, go to your desktop, hit go up at the top and select go to folder. Now copy and paste this location into the window. And I'll have it listed down below in the description so that you guys can just copy and paste it really easily without having to worry about messing up the file location because it's pretty long. And then hit go. 
Then it will bring you to a folder on your Mac's Libraries folder. Now with that Finder window still pulled up, go to the Time Machine icon in the top menu bar and click Enter Time Machine. The file in question is called notes v7.storedata-wal or dash wall. And it's a file that should already be in there, but what we need to do is look at a previous version of that file so that we can pull the notes out of the past. Because that file contains our entire library of notes that we need to essentially resurrect from a previous date. Now what we can do is navigate back through time using the arrows until we find an older version of the file. And then once we do, all we need to do is select the file and click restore, which will bring the file back into the present. Now once this is done, you can exit Time Machine and your previous library of notes will be brought back into the present and be restored to your Mac. So there you go. That is three proven ways, three proven methods on how to restore your notes to your Mac or Mac laptop. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you found it useful. And if you did, always be sure to leave us a like and a comment down below. Or if you guys had any issues with this tutorial or you want to reach out to us at all, always be sure to leave us a comment down below or you can reach out to us on our website. I always enjoy reading your guys' comments all the time. It makes me feel a lot better. And uh, that's going to be it for today's video. My name is Andrew, and until next time, thank you for watching.